This is the message that will be playing in the background as I play this game. Hello and welcome back to another modding tutorial for Fallout 4. Today, we're going to talk about custom races. As you can see here, there's one right behind me. This is the Anubian Javelin. He has a custom race that does not call upon race customizer. He doesn't need to modified skeleton. He calls a default skeleton. And as you can imagine, that causes problems when the player is using a custom race that does modify the skeleton. And here's what he probably looks like in your game, assuming you play as a pony. We're going to fix this. I'm going to show you what steps you can take to m patch these custom races to work with race customizer races. Alright, here we have the anubisrace.esv pulled up, and now our goal is to take the race and make a copy of it in another ESP. You never modify the entries directly, you always do a separate plugin for it. This will improve compatibility. I'm going to call mine Anubis Race Customizer Patch. Now with Anubis Race Customizer, you scroll down past data until you get to ANAM male skeleton model and ANAM female skeleton model. You need to change the skeleton directory to the folder added by race customizer. All you have to do is type in all caps NPC backslash. This is where it goes and you can copy it over to here. All you have to do is save the project and create the ESP. And don't forget to enable it in Vortex or whatever manager you use. Now we shall see what it looks like in-game. As you can see, the Anubis race, the Javelin race, has a normal head size like it should. And that's what you can accomplish when you make a patch for the mod. This can apply to any race that doesn't call on Race Customizer. I'm going to see about patching as many as I can, but I can't promise I can get permission for all of the races, so it may be up to you to make your own patch for it. And uh, don't ever use these patches for the race it patches if you are playing as the race that patches patching. It will crash your game, and it does not work anyways. And that concludes this modding tutorial. See you next time. Since I didn't want to go through the trouble of making an entire song, it's just an audio recording. By the way, this thing repeats itself.